بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹ آئی ایم تیمینا تان یور ٹیچر ول ٹیچ یو فارم سکس ون ون بایو فارماسوٹکس اینڈ فارماکو کائنیٹکس دس لائٹ کمپرائزز یور کورس کنٹینٹ آن وچ آور ٹوڈیز اینڈ کمنگ ڈیز لیکچر ول آن دیز ٹاپکس This is a brief description about me. I am the lecturer in Department of Pharmaceutics, Hamdard University, having a nine-year research experience in biopharmaceutical sciences from CBSPR, University of Karachi, and work on different, uh, 19 different projects of bioequivalence bioavailability uh, with the multinational and local pharmaceutical companies trained on bioequivalence studies clinical trials from the PRU Jordan and having a sound knowledge of ISO 9001 and 17025. Okay, our today's and the upcoming lectures will be from these three books uh, you may consult. Um, these three books uh, are already uploaded on SU LMS system. You can uh, learn, you can download, and as well as these are available in library. First of all, what is bio pharmaceutics? You have learned the definition of pharmaceutics. But it is necessary to know. Uh, pharmacy, pharmacy, pharmaceutics, and in pharmaceutics, here is the bio pharmaceutics. What is the definition of pharm bio pharmaceutics? Bio pharmaceutics can be defined as the study of how the physiochemical properties of drug do this form and route of administration affect the rate and extent of drug absorption. There must be some kind of relationship between the drug and its dosage form and the route of administration by which we are administering some kind of drug and after administering in our body how much drug enter the systemic circulation at what rate in what quantity so for a drug which we say it is effective sufficient amount of it uh, definitely needed to its site of action where it will produce its pharmacological effect and stay here long enough to be able to exert its pharmacological effect this is determined by the route of administration, the form in which the drug is administered, and the rate at which, at which it is delivered. Different drugs are given by different route of administration, paracetamol. We take it orally, but in hospital where we have to subside the high grade fever we administered it intravenously and as well as this um, uh, antipyretic um, medicine drugs are available in the form of suppositories that means different kinds of root for uh, root of administration have the different rate and extent. Here, in today's lecture, we will discuss some key uh, topics. The key points are here. Biopharmaceutics is a study of how the physiochemical properties of the drug into this form and the root of administration affect the rate and extent of drug absorption. Here must be a, some kind of dynamic equilibrium exit between the concentration of a drug in the blood plasma and the concentration of the drug at the 
side of action pharmacokinetics is the study and characterization of the time course of a drug as absorption distribution metabolism excretion adme you will um, learn you will read you will hear the admet adme in upcoming lecture in book and it is determined by measuring a plasma profile so be familiar with adme pharmacodynamic is the relationship between the drug concentration at the site of action and the resulting effect there is some difference between kinetic and dynamic i will tell you in detail in further slides bioavailability is the percentage of an administered dose of a drug that reaches the systemic circulation and take it is therefore the ratio of the drug in the systemic circulation to the following an intravenous dose of drug like in iv 100% drugs are bioavailable but um, the drugs given by other route of administration to be checked the bioavailability or percentage of an administered drug uh, administered dose of a drug that reaches the system itself okay now what is therapeutic window therapeutic window is the range of the drug concentration between the minimum effective concentration and the maximum safe concentration uh it is necessary we flash back the uh, definition which we have learned in earlier classes brand name all of you are familiar with the brand name the trade name of the drug the name is privately owned by the manufacturer or the distributor and is used to distinguish the specific drug product from the competitor product Tylenol manufactured by Amphenol laboratory this is uh, Tylenol is a brand name chemical name as the name showing that chemical name the name used by the organic chemist to indicate the chemical structure of the drug for example and acetyl p amino phenol drug bahut padte rehte hain drug 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 what is drug drug is defined as a substance recognized by an official pharmacopeia or formulary yahan pe hum keh sakte hain substance intended to use in the diagnosis cure mitigation treatment or prevention of disease ya phir in other words a substance other than the food intended to affect a structure or any function of the body right a substance intended for use as a component of a medicine but not a device or a component or component part or accessory of a device there are def uh, different um, definition of drug biological products are intended within this definition and are generally covered by the same law and regulation but the differences exist regarding their manufacturing processes chemical processes Process biological processes. Bio, uh, it means by biological product that also come under the heading of the drug, but same law and regulation govern होने के बावजूद there are some differences. What are these differences? They are manufacturing processes. They may be a chemical processes or a biological process. drug product 
the finish to the form that contained the drag substance journally, but not necessarily in associated with other active or inactive ingredients. There is a drug, but it is in finished dosage form. This is called drug product. Now, it is necessary to learn about the pharmaceutical equivalent as the name showing itself. Pharmaceutical equivalent. Something pharmaceutically um, equivalent to each other mean the drug product are in identical usage form that contain identical amount of identical active drug for example the same salt or ester of the drug they do not necessarily contain the same excipient or inactive ingredient but the two product must meet the compendia and other applicable quality standard of identity strength purity and if in included contain uniformity disintegration time and the dissolution this definition is taken from the Alton fifth edition page number three five six Ach um, today's lectures uh, quickly uh, drive from Alton so you may uh, read today's uh, topic from Alton Chapter 18 Part 4 Biopharmaceutical Principle of Drug Delivery Now Pharmaceutical equivalent same uh, um, term its definition is taken from FDA, Food and Drug Administration, Government of America, U.S. FDA, FDA, FDA considered a drug product to be pharmaceutically equivalent if they meet these three criteria. Number one, they contain the same active ingredients. They are of the same dosage form and the route of administration. They are identical in strength and concentration. Pharmaceutically equivalent drug product may differ in characteristics such as shape may be vary, release mechanism may be vary, labeling may be vary, scoring uh, and excipient including the color, flavor, preservative. after the pharmaceutical equivalent. Now, the pharmaceutical alternative. What is pharmaceutical alternative? As you can just imagine, pharmaceutical alternative. Food alternative. Now, come to the definition. Pharmaceutical alternatives are the drug products that contain the identical therapeutic moiety or it precursor but necessarily but not necessarily in the same amount or a dosage form Kaise? Kaise ke tetracycline hydrochloride 250 milligram capsule versus tetracycline phosphate complex 250 milligram capsule both are the capsule 250 milligram 250 milligram but one is tetracycline hydrochloride and other one is tetracycline phosphate complex they are the pharmaceutically alternative to each other cunidine sulfate 200 milligram tablet versus cunidine sulfate 200 milligram capsule both are the cunidine 200 milligram but one is tablet and other is capsule each drug product individually meets 
either the identical or its own respective compendial or other applicable standard of identity, strength, quality, and purity, including potency and where applicable content uniformity, disintegration time, and the dissolution to different dosage form, and the strength within a product line by a single manufacturer or pharmaceutical alternative as are extended release product when compared with the immediate release or sustained release formulation of the same active ingredient. They are pharmaceutically alternative. This is the definition I have taken from the FDA website. What is Alton saying in this regard? Product that contain the identical active drug and its precursor, but necess not necessarily in the same amount or dosage form, or as the sold, same sort or easter e drug product should either individually meet either the respective compendial quality standard or other applicable quality standard of identity, strength, quality, purity, and where included content uniformity, disintegration time, and dissolution rate. Now, come to the therapeutic equivalence. Therapeutic equivalence. Drug product classify as a therapeutically equivalent can be substituted within the full expectation that the substituent product will produce the same clinical effect and safety profile as the prescribed product. Drug products are considered to be therapeutically equivalent only if they meet these criteria. What are these? They are pharmaceutically equivalent, contain the same, same active ingredient, dosage form, and route of administration and strength. They are assigned by the FDA, the same therapeutic equivalent code, the starting with the letter A to receive a letter A. FDA designate a brand name drug or a generic drug to be the reference listed drug. Assign the therapeutic equivalent code based on the data that our drug is, uh, sponsor submit in an ANDA abbreviated new drug application to scientifically demonstrate that its product is bioequivalent, perform in the same manner as a reference listed 